Well, as the U.S. Open enters uh, final week, there have been plenty of surprises, but a lot more to come. Joining us now, ESPN commentator and former top five player Mary Jo Fernandez to break it all down. Good to see you again, Mary Jo. I mean, this has been quite a first week at the Open with many big names uh, falling early. Uh, Djokovic is out, also defending women's champ. Uh, Coco Goff is out, Wimbledon champ Carlos Alcaraz is out. So is this what stands out the most to you from this week or should we focus a little more on maybe some of the surprise wins? It's been an exciting first week, but yes, we have had a lot of upsets. The two biggest ones, Carlos Alcaraz and Novak Djokovic going out early. That was a bit of a surprise, but considering the Olympic year, a lot of tournaments packed into a small amount of time and the changing of the surfaces, going from French Open clay to Wimbledon grass, back to clay at the Olympics, and then transition quickly to the hard courts. I think that caught up to a lot of players. I think Carlos Alcaraz and Novak Djokovic were spent. They didn't have much left in the tank. For the defending champion, Coco Goff, going out to Emma Navarro, another American. It was a tough day at the office, did not play well this summer, really struggled on serve, had 19 double faults. Credit to her opponent, though, Navarro is having the best season of her career. So the positives, the Americans are doing well. I think in week two, we could see a lot of them doing more damage. Well, and it's the first year since, what, 2002 that none of the big three, Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, will win a major. And then you've got top seed uh, Yannick Sinner still in the draw, and so are three Americans. So what are you expecting uh, for, I guess, the rest of the way, uh, for the rest of the way on the men's side? Well, I think you can officially say that it's a changing of the guard. Uh, it's incredible the dominance that those big three had for 22 years. But finally, I think age is catching up to Novak Djokovic. He's had a few injuries. I think we're still going to see him next year. But now it's all about Yannick Sinner, the top seed. He's the favorite to go all the way. He's got a tough match tonight against Tommy Paul, who's had a great season from the United States. Sinner, Alcaraz, that's the new guard. They're the ones that are winning the majors this season. Sinner won in Australia. Alcaraz won the French in Wimbledon. So... That's the future of the game. It's exciting, and we'll see if one of the Americans, like Taylor Fritz or Francis Tiafo, can do something really special and break the drought. The last American to win here is Andy Roddick back in 2003. Wow. Well, let's keep on the, the, the positive vibe here and talk about the women's side. You've got two Americans, Emma Navarro, also Jessica Pagula, still in the tournament. What are your thoughts on what lies ahead there? I think both players have a really good chance to continue their performance. Jessica P Pagula played really well in her match earlier today. She waits for the winner of the world's number one on the women's side, Iga Sviantek, a winner here two years ago. That would be an incredible matchup. Her game suits these hard courts. She hits the ball hard, flat through the court. She's serving bigger, serving more accurately. I think it's a real chance that she can cause a big upset and get to her first semifinals of a major. Now for Emma Navarro, what a year she's had. This time last year, she was is ranked outside the top 50. Now she's almost top 10. So her game is very complete. She can hit topspin, she can hit flat, she can come forward, and now she's got the belief that she belongs. So I like Emma Navarro's chances. She plays Paula Badosa in the next round. It'll be tight, but the Americans, in my opinion, they're moving forward. All right, Mary Jo, you know I have to ask this before we go. When you see these players and you're there, you know, courtside, be honest with me, are you dying to get in the mix again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I am not. Um, I remember how hard it was to play at that level and all the training that went into it and the butterflies. I, I really like now landing in a city and not feeling stressed. So I love doing my TV. I love commentating and watching it, but I am happy I am not on the court anymore.